because we may uh, hello everybody because we may have no chance to record this later for the English uh, YouTube channel I need to update you where we are with the extension and we on the last uh, day we have just arrived today on Saturday to finish the skeletons and paint them we have the paint over there and fit some sort of PVC trim near the French door and here as well to join the, the existing sliding door from the rest of the property and that's pretty it so at the end of every uh, day today when we tidy up I will give you some update about everything what we managed to do here and how it looks outside and inside see you later okay so ready steady go <laughs> look at this job done all tidy up at the end we have even add some sealant uh, between the floor and skirting to make sure they look uh, better and they waterproof a little bit so in case someone mop will not uh, damage straight away the MDF edge from the skirting otherwise we're pretty there um, we need to just talk to the client and we can leave the place uh, as you know the full story we exchanged this uh, area from conservatory to small extension we have add a couple of windows all supplied by local company French door electric 10 down lights all around as you can see so it's quite bright we have window windows on each side of the build 150 centimeters another 50 sorry 50 50 centimeters 150 in the middle and 150 at the French door on this side with opening to the right and I think that's end of the story we have extended a central heating circuit from the house so same time we have one big radiator which provide enough heat to this room to be honest we're most of the time switching off because it start getting a little bit too warm I will show you outside how it looks, I just need to change the shutter Okay, so it's a long story guys We started a few weeks ago and that's what we achieved So we have brand new, uh, new build uh, Probably another couple of thousand pounds uh, improvement to the property uh, So we exchanged this from very very ugly conservatory to small uh, extension with a small sloping roof so that was a adventure to be honest because uh, we couldn't find the, the right ice and at the end we find the right ice which allowed us to use for the 17 uh, percent of the sloping so that's okay everything done no leak no problems uh, I don't know what to say job done you know <laughs> ready we add some external lights as well we try to clean the patio but as you can see a uh, couple of uh, traveling from uh, from the front of the house to the extension we already make the uh, patio dirty again so we need to wash at the end and that will be the last job what we do uh, here and I will see you late uh, see you in another in another project uh, this video may be uh, may be added to the main video on Monday I will do that probably so wait uh, wait a moment I will give you more update from the project we still carry on in Waterlooville and what else thank you and see you later bye now good morning everybody ah, Tuesday I was planning to uh, record the rest on Monday but I couldn't find time and mood and etc so I didn't want to leave something strange on this channel uh, as you know we have uh, finished one of the project when uh, we're almost finishing uh, another project I will give you update today how we're doing with this the kitchen is pretty done we have uh, finalized the uh, connection for uh, built integrated uh, washing machine we need to just sand uh, a couple of walls in the toilet area and start fixing everything tomorrow in place because the basin uh, didn't arrive on Monday 
uh, they planning to deliver it on Wednesday from Victoria Plumbing. So, so then everything will be complete, and I will try to actually the the video make not only from what they. Okay, the battery is replaced. So. I will try to make the video not only from one day, from a couple of days this time and then you will have uh, more updates than, you, than uh, comparing to the last uh, two videos and what else? Today I will show you the kitchen, uh, today I will show you what we plan to do with the paving slabs because that's the last project basically this year <laughs> and, and that's it, so have a nice day, see you later Wish us luck. <laughs> Bye now. Okay, beautiful people. We are in the kitchen. Uh, I can see the light is flashing, so I need to change the setting. Give me a sec. Okay, I think that's the best setting anyway. Uh, so, uh, I tried to show you the progress in this kitchen and what actually is left over. We have Tuesday today. You can hear the noise. We start removing the paving slabs at the back, so I will show you in a sec. So, we have kitchen really done. We just need to tidy up the rest. Uh, grout and seal the scuffing area. The worktop is done, as you can see, it's white, stone, Belfast stick, sink in the middle with nice tap. Uh, we have dishwasher here, we have uh, fridge integrated. We have this brand new cooker, extractor, couple of units, new light, new floor. Was plenty, plenty, and a lot, a lot uh, happened before we actually start fixing the kitchen. The electric is done. Uh, spares for the dishwasher and um, fridge on this side. Spare for extractor and cooker on this side. Uh, what self leveling tiles. Plumbing, electric, plastering, blah blah blah, a lot. And same time we create extra small uh, unit for the toilet and basin. The basin will arrive on uh, Wednesday, which is tomorrow. The toilet we have on site. So at the moment we just create tiny area for the toilet. Everything is ready, painted once at the moment, so we'll be finished tomorrow. We have uh, up some integrated washing machine, which is somewhere there. Uh, I don't need to. I don't need to. Or I, I can actually show you. Obviously, there is still a couple of things need to be finished, so it's quite difficult to show you around. Outside, we we have started to remove the paving slab. They all the way here. So we we'll replace for brand new 60 by 60, much lower, as you can see, and we'll up the drainage all around the house to make sure the water from the rest of the garden doesn't stay here and have no chance to go anywhere. So we'll create the water drainage, which will be connected to the garage. In a second, I will show you. So. All the way here, new slabs, all the way here, new slabs. So we'll connect to the sways, the new drainage. Uh, there is no any other place, so we'll continue up to here. Okay, I think that's everything from me, from now. We wait for another skip. They're quite late at the moment. I hope they will arrive soon. I will give you more updates later. Ja właśnie ten wyjeżdżam, a zebra przyjeżdża po skipa. <laughs> Co teraz? Będę by trzeba usunąć chyba. Usunąć naszego wana. Dobra. Trzeba z nim pogadać. Okej, okay, we have collection. Skip collection. We can throw it this on the top. Okej. Okay. We use this company science two years at the moment. And I'm not planning to change. They always on time, they always provide the good prices, especially for us at the moment. I think for all of us. So I can't really complain. Why I should change it? No, no, never. <laughs> Any trouble we skip, but he has solution. Big hammer. <laughs> And 
that I have new subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> so we have brand new Zebra 6 year skip, so which we can feel by concrete. Carol already started and he carry on with this. I need to jump quickly to shop and get some sealant and something else. I need to ask Jacek because I forgot. Ooh. Who is responsibility for this weather? Oh, mama. Windy, rainy, shit. <laughs> What's going on in this country? <laughs> My God, I just went to B&Q to get some tiny bits and pieces. Oh, really, I hope the weather will change soon. I can't imagine Christmas like this, raining. Okay, let's come back to work. I have some tiny requests from my client to add this or get something to pull the panel in near the washing machine. So I get I got the handle and he asked me to create some double socket. So I got the box, I get I have the socket in my van for the porch. So we're planning to drill through the existing socket which is uh, on the hallway and just create new connection. We'll see, oh, the weather is brilliant. And the last job we need to do is outside. <laughs> I, hope, I hope this will change soon, today, tomorrow. I can't imagine to do the work like this, in this weather, definitely not. Okay. Ooh. Good morning, everybody. What do we have? Wednesday now. Yes, <laughs> Wednesday. Someone wake me up too early in the morning and I will tell you who was it. That was a company called Zebra. Because they tried to collect one of the skip from previous project. And uh, the, the drive was blocked by one of the car from the owner. And they couldn't find, the, they, they tried to contact the owner by knocking the door but nobody answered, so they ring me. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so our plan for today, we don't know, honestly. The weather destroyed everything yesterday. It was very windy, there was sort of storm. Ooh, not the best weather, trust me. So today we'll try to finish uh, and clean the rest of the patio from the previous uh, slabs and uh, mortar. Inside we have just second coat uh, in the toilet and fixing the toilet basically. So second fix, uh, basin should arrive uh, in midday around uh, from Victoria plumbing. So I hope this area will be completed today. We have some extra job yesterday from the client to do so socket in the conservatory. Probably is done, if not will be done today. And uh, the rest at the end is just sealant. So when everything is complete, I will just go in, seal everything correctly around the plinth, around the uh, skirtings, any, any gaps basically I will see, I will seal around the toilet, around uh, sink, blah, blah, blah. So that, that will be the last job and we're finishing this project. So if not today, tomorrow. And then it's just the slabs paving outside. So if the weather is okay, we'll carry on. If not, I don't know what to do. <laughs> we still have under roof some area, so we may do that in the meantime. But the weather doesn't look great for this week, to be honest. I check. Uh, maybe it's not so bad. Today is just 12%, but tomorrow is 87% of rain. Thank you very much. So, have a nice day and see you later. I will update you what we have done. Hello, back, beautiful people. Look at this. The weather arrived again, so it's beautiful. We have to just finish uh, prepping for the new uh, pavings. And we have very good condition concrete. It's not maybe the best, but it's enough to lay the new patio all over. Obviously this should be dry, so I hope we'll dry till the end of the day. 
we'll try to cover, we need to protect this, we need to uh, primer this, we have special product to primer, I will show you later, and then we'll use the external adhesive to lay uh, this uh, paving slabs, because the adhesive is not only external, it's uh, frost protected as well, I will show which product we will use, so and we just uh, spoke with my colleague how to do the drainage so we have decided to do the drainage not all around the house like this and then and, and uh, turn again we'll use this line all the way to this corner and then straight line here that's because the existing concrete got natural sloping to this side so if we if we would like to slope to the house we will need to raise about two inch uh, the slates on the left hand side, which is unnecessary because I will prefer to actually keep the water away from the house instead of pushing the water to the house. So if that's already done like this, we'll use this. And then we have sloped that way perfectly. So we're actually lucky this time. Uh, we need to unload a couple of things from the van and then we'll go to do some shopping to the Polish warehouse in Southampton. I will show you the place and I will show you a couple of products you may find there. Okay, apart the rest of the product, the kitchen is done as you know, washing machine is done as you know, we wait for the toilet and uh, basin. End of the day I will show you the, I will give you a little bit more update. So let's crack on. Okay, hello everybody. So I will uh, introduce you to the new place. I'm, I'm coming quite often here to get some uh, special products like adhesive, plasterboard even, and other stuff for uh, rendering. So if you look for a place where you can get extra product, that's the name of the company called Paul House. Uh, that's the website. They base in Southampton. And that's how they look outside. And I will show you in a second how they look inside. Let's go. So, external wall isolation. Uh, I believe you understand what I'm talking about. Uh, in this place, you can find 400 colors of wall render, um, uh, render plus all type of isolation, mesh, and other type of products, profile, uh, corners uh, for the renders. And most of the product from Atlas very good quality uh, component products so if you're nearby please feel welcome to come around and take a look and we 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 on the way back to jack because we obviously as usual we spend too much time to talk about everything <laughs> see you in a minute bye now okay just quick update because i forgot to tell you what we have actually bought from from them today so i bought adhesive from atlas uh, and I bought some grout, ceramic grout from Atlas, and we have some uh, spacers as well. So looks like we have everything to start laying the paving slabs. Let's go. Okay, I will give you a quick update at the end of the day, so you will have a little bit more than usual from us. Uh, we have uh, provided the uh, uh, drainage from flow drain. What is the company? Plus something plast. Draw drain. Um, plo, plo plast. Okay. So we have enough to start from this corner all the way through there and we'll carry on straight this way to the drainage in the garage. That's our plan to, uh, to do this tomorrow. We'll fill this tomorrow, we'll fill the rest tomorrow. We have almost everything complete here. The basin just arrived uh, a few minutes ago, so it will be completed tomorrow. We need to just fit everything together. We have the mi basin mixer mono here, so we're ready. The space is ready, the toilet is ready, blah, blah, blah. Kitchen is ready. I will do a proper update at the end of the project when I do all the silicones and then uh, take a couple of pictures for Instagram. So please feel welcome anytime you can go to Instagram Master Builder Services all together and then you will find all uh, details about the job 
we're starting how the job looks and how it's finished and etc. Uh, obviously everything takes time to, to get there. What else? Thank you very much. If you didn't subscribe, please subscribe the channel. Please like. If you don't like, please dislike. If you like to comment, comment below. I try to answer all the questions. Thank you very much. Have a nice evening. Have a nice day. And see you in the next video. Bye now.